how to make this floating object effect in Final Cut Pro. First install your camera on the tripod and make sure you shoot at 60 or 120 frames per second. Make first shot of clean background without main object and second shot with object in front of a camera. Make sure your object is not moving up and down or left right for better results. Now grab your footage into Final Cut Pro. Here we have a clean background clip and a clip with the camera. I'm gonna select second clip and change speed to 50%. Go to effects browser and look up for magnetic mask and apply it onto your second clip with an object. Select your object with a dropper. Hold option key to remove parts you don't need. And click analyze. You can select this little pen and remove some parts of your object. I'm just gonna make sure that camera strap is not visible. After you have finished selecting the object, click done. Looks great. Place this clip on top of your background clip. Now we need to create a fly-in effect for our camera. I'm gonna use my preset that I made in Motion 5 with my smooth animation, because Final Cut doesn't allow to use keyframes on scale. You can see that it looks rough. So I'm just gonna drag and drop my preset. And by the way, if you'd like to use this preset, you can find the free link in the description below. Now we need to create an out of focus effect for our camera. And for that, I will use a Gaussian blur. Go to effects browser and drag Gaussian blur onto your clip with an object. Go to the beginning of the clip and set amount value to 50. Hover a playhead to the place where the camera finishes its motion and set amount to zero. Now let's add a little bit of zoom to the camera. Ok, cool. Now let's add a zoom out effect to our background. Go to the last frame and set scale to 105. Why 105? Because we need more space for the next distortion effect so we don't have a black parts of the screen. Now go to the first frame and set scale to 115. Now let's add an out of focus effect to the background. Apply Gaussian blur and set amount to around 16. Now go to fix browser, distortion and apply droplet effect. It will create this distorted background effect. Hover playhead somewhere here and set intensity to 0. Radius to minus 50 and thickness to 55. Actually, let's open video animation and drag these keyframes a little bit to the left, like this. Now move playhead several frames forward and set intensity to 100 and radius to around 400. Now go to the last frame and set radius to 1000 and thickness to 200. And it looks pretty cool. Now select both clips and create a compound clip. We are gonna apply speed ramping and basically we will just speed up the beginning and the end of the clip. So hover your playhead to the place where you want to slow down your object and hit shift B to create a point. Now place a playhead to the point where you want to speed up your object and hit shift plus B and apply 200% speed to these two parts of the clip. You can see that our camera started to flicker. 
And to fix it, go to the time window and choose video quality to frame blending. Cool. Now we need to create a smooth zoom in the end of the clip and for that I'm gonna use my another preset applied to adjustment clip. Let's decrease zoom amount and do some adjustments. And the last step is the color grade. I like to use the Hanser plugin for Final Cut Pro and I'm just going to copy and paste my already made preset. And let's take a look what we have. That's it, please like and subscribe for more content and if you would like to support this channel please visit my store for some awesome transitions and effects. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.